Hey, it's Jeff Sauer here, and I've put together a Google Tag Manager tutorial that I think you're really going to enjoy. And so in this video, we are going to walk you through the absolute basics of Google Tag Manager, how it works, what you can do with it, and set the tone for what you can learn if you decide to pursue an understanding of Google Tag Manager, and if you decide to really get to understand how this tool works and how to use it to your advantage. So we're going to talk about concepts like what are tags, why do you need some kind of tag management system, the origin behind Google Tag Manager, and why I find it to be so amazing and so efficient for delivering different tracking tags on your website, as well as some of the beginner mistakes that people might make as they go through Google Tag Manager. And we're going to let you know what those are so you don't make them yourself. So I hope you follow along with this Google Tag Manager tutorial, and we're going to show you exactly how you can use Google Tag Manager to really improve your tracking results for your website presence. So let's get into our Google Tag Manager tutorial. The first question you might be wondering is, what is Google Tag Manager and should you consider using it? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Google Tag Manager is a part of the Google Analytics suite, and it is a tool that Google's provided to us that helps us manage our tags. Google Tag Manager is a free and simple solution for installing and managing all of your tracking pixels that are provided to you by third parties. Any type of marketing system that somebody wants you to track or install code on your website, Google Tag Manager is equipped to handle it. So if a marketing and analytics tool vendor sends you some kind of code that you're supposed to place on your website, you can serve that up using Google Tag Manager. It reduces your reliance on tracking pixels and it helps you measure website activity more efficiently. Google Tag Manager allows you to install these pixels more efficiently, accurately, and effectively than installing them individually on your own website. And Google Tag Manager has received worldwide adoption in the marketing and analytics community because it's pretty awesome. It's pretty great. So with that out of the way, I want to talk about what we're going to cover in this GTM tutorial. The first thing we're going to talk about is the reason why you need tag management and also a use case for when you might not need it at all. Two, the value proposition of tag management, and we're even going to provide you with a 27 point list of items you can send to your organization so they can better understand why tag management is so valuable. We're going to talk about how Google Tag Manager works from the inside out. Number four, we're going to go through deploying your tags and migrating your existing tracking to Google Tag Manager. And finally, we're going to talk about beginner mistakes that you can avoid when you're installing Google Tag Manager on your own website. So why do you need tag management and what are cases when you don't need tag management at all? First of all, the marketing technology landscape is getting more and more complex. This is the Gartner subway map where they talk about all the different things we can do in the world of digital marketing. And as you can see here, it's comprehensive and pretty much overwhelming. And each one of these systems, if you want to use them, they're all going to ask you to do some kind of tagging on your own website to report back to them the results of their platform. So generally speaking, every time that something new comes out in the marketplace, they want you to put some code on your website to track it. And now you're not going to be using every single one of these things, or I doubt that you will, because these are very specific to specific types of businesses. But you might find yourself using more than a few of these, and that can be a problem if you have too many tags on your website. It can slow it down, and it can be really unwieldy to manage it. And so the easiest way to think about it is like an analogy. Think of your brand new shiny website as an empty glass. And everyone in the world is looking for you to use their competing brand of tracking, and they all have different value propositions, but they all want you to use them. And so each one of these systems has tags, and one by one, adding a tag to your website usually has a minimal impact. So if you put Google Analytics on your site, and then a couple weeks later you say, oh, I need to put AdWords on my site, and then you hear from Twitter that they need a pixel, none of those things in themselves usually slows down your website. At least it's hard to tell if one of them is the particular reason why your website's not performing well. But when you add them up, one of them becomes the straw that breaks the camel's back and suddenly you are no longer able to track anything because your website slowed down and it's all because of these tags you placed on your website. And the more tags you add, the more difficult it is to keep up with the tags that are coming in. Think of each platform that wants you to install their tracking pixel as a source of water. Each one of these things in the landscape is a big wave coming in trying to fill your glass and trying to do it as efficiently as possible because they're trying to gain market share. 
The marketing technology landscape is competitive, it's growing, and everybody wants to compete for your attention. Well, what happens is, if you have too many tags, too many sources of water, your once empty glass starts to overflow. And too many tags can break websites or at least make them so cluttered with slow loading scripts that nobody wants to go to them. And so getting rid of this clutter is one of the best things you can do to bring sanity back into your life. And Google Tag Manager allows you to store all these tags in one place and serve them efficiently using something called tag templates. So instead of having to install each person's pixel individually and having to deal with it and worry about whether it's optimized or firing properly or understanding if it even will work on your website or if it's going to break it, Google Tag Manager allows you to do this all in one consolidated place. And these tag templates, even better, they're optimized for speed, cross-browser compatibility, and they're verified by Google. In order to become a tag template vendor, you need to pass a rigorous test by Google to say that you're verified and capable of being tested in the Google system. And even better, these tags are always up to date and they don't require significant maintenance. And so if you were to go into Google Tag Manager right now, you can see that there are tons of tag templates available. There's so many of them that I couldn't get it into one screen and I had to actually do an animated GIF image in order to show you all the things that are available. Now I'm scrolling through it pretty fast right now, but you can probably see several systems that you've used or that you use on your end as well. You can see things like LinkedIn, Bing ads, Twitter ads. Almost every system you can use is in here with the exception, the notable exception that is, of Facebook. And so we're going to go back and revisit this tag templates idea in a little bit here, but I just wanted to show you that pretty much anything you can dream of tracking, pretty much all the technologies that are on that Gartner subway map are things you can track within Google Tag Manager. And if you're still skeptical, here's another reason for tag management. Adding tags and scripts to your website, especially those that support the marketing department, are among the lowest priority tasks for your web developers. And this is because scripts need to be verified and they have the potential to break the website. While it sounds easy from these vendors to just throw a piece of JavaScript on your website and you're tracking, your developers and your entire IT department needs to really be responsible for what happens if it breaks. And so they can't just throw it up there and hope that it doesn't break. If this thing breaks, they're going to be in trouble, not you. And so they need to verify that things work. Plus, Usually instructions are written very poorly by marketers. They're not really telling you how to do things from a development standpoint. There's little documentation from these tool vendors. Some of them might even go out of business. I can't tell you how many times I've installed tags on my website only to have that company go out of business and make my website load slowly because the domain name doesn't even resolve anymore. So the requests that they're asking for are fairly significant even if they hide it under the wrapper of saying just put these four lines of JavaScript code on the website. And so what ends up happening in this scenario where we're asking developers to throw code on a website or we give them bad instructions or the code itself from these vendors is not very good, they just don't do it. They either don't install it at all or they do it poorly. They do it in a half-assed way. And the reason why is because we're not giving them good enough instructions or we haven't proven the value proposition. Now here's the reason why Tag Manager is so awesome. Because it requires you to install just one code base for all your tags. And in addition to that, you can put on an optional universal data layer that all of your tags can access. And we'll talk more about the universal data layer in a little bit. So the value proposition behind Tag Manager is, do you want to measure more efficiently? Then you should invest in tag management. Otherwise, you're going to be at the whim of your development department who thinks you're the lowest priority, who doesn't respect the documentation or lack of documentation that you put out there for these tags, and who is ultimately responsible for when the website breaks. And so if it's your code that seems innocent that breaks the website, if that happens one time, you're pretty much going to get no priority whatsoever in the future for tracking your marketing, for tracking your marketing activities. And that's the reason why you want to invest in tag management. Because you do this one time, you set it up properly, you make this stuff work, and guess what? You're able to get the stuff onto your website much more quickly because you're not going through the IT department every single time you deploy tags. Now this doesn't mean that you're not going to have to involve them. They might want to be involved with the version control of your tag manager account. 
They might want to be involved with security, with governance. They should be involved with all these things. But what ends up happening is you can do the work of testing your tags, verifying they work, and then send them to your IT department and they can deploy them onto your website. So instead of having to have them be the ones that are quality assurance testing every single thing you do, you can do the QA, you can go through their process, and then you can say, hey, this is ready to go live on the website. We did the testing and we verified that it works properly. So you're shifting the balance instead of saying, hey, developers, do 99% of the work here. You can do 90% of the work and just have them approve it and push it through their quality assurance process and have it live on your website in much less time. Now, I've done a lot here to show you why you need tag management. You might be wondering, when don't you need tag management? There's a pretty obvious case, and that is that GTM is not necessary if you are adding one tag only, i.e. just standard Google Analytics to your site. There's no point in doing tag management if you just have one piece of code on your website. Think about this like your organization. Do you really need management, middle managers, if you have one employee in your organization? Probably not. The one person should be able to manage themselves, and that's how it works for this code as well. That's how it works for standard Google Analytics installation, or if you're just doing the remarketing pixel for AdWords. One at a time, you don't really need tag management. But if you want to use advanced features in Google Analytics, anything that requires coding, then GTM can be your best friend forever, your BFF. And that's when it becomes really valuable. And that is that if you're doing anything that's not standard, then you want to use GTM because then you're not sending coding instructions to your developers, hoping that they get it right or having them ask questions that you don't know the answer to because you're not a developer and you're just doing this one time. You're installing GTM and then you can handle the rest and you don't even need to worry about adding additional code to your website. So we hope that you enjoyed this GTM tutorial and if you did enjoy it, leave a comment with your biggest GTM question that you have for us. We're gonna take a look at all the questions you have from the community and we are gonna try to answer them in future videos. We are gonna try to up our content game when it comes to Google Tag Manager. So if you appreciate this tutorial, make sure you leave a comment with your biggest GTM question. And if you wanna see that GTM migration guide, make sure you leave a comment there as well.